Hey, Gadget Class. I am reviewing a Survivor Filter Pro. This is a 0.01 micron camping or bug out filter that you can throw in your camping or bug out pack for filtering water out in the wilderness. I'm going to test it with everything I've got here, even my pee. Yes, I'm going to drink my own pee. Not recommended, but I'm going to do it for you guys here on the video today. Let's take a look at what you get in the box. Get your filter. Comes with a little cup, stows on there nicely. Get a little carry pouch. Get your uh, hoses with a cotton pre-filter. You get an extra cotton filter and your user manual and instructions there. This will supposedly uh, filter down to 0 0.01 microns which is pretty good for a portable filter. Most of them uh, are maybe uh, 0 0.05 microns at the best. Um, it does weigh 230 grams. Um, water flow is supposed to be 17 ounces a minute. I'm sure that varies depending on how badly uh, contaminated your water is. Um, full instructions. I'm going to go ahead and set up for the filter video now. Let's take this thing apart real quick to show you how it's made. The pump handle supposedly has a metal brace on the inside to help uh, keep it from breaking, uh, but it is just plastic. If there is metal in there, it, uh, I don't know, I think that might be the only weak point on this thing. That just screws off. In here we've got the carbon filter. And this is the ultra filter here. And if you look down inside there, uh, you can see it looks like a spun filter in there. Um, it is round and it looks like some sort of uh, material spun onto a spool or maybe some sort of cartridge. Uh, but that's supposed to be the ultra ultra filter that gets down to 0 0.01 microns. So let's see how it does in our filter test. Let's take a look at our test subjects here. Starting out with distilled water. This is going to be our controlled. It is zero TDS or zero parts per million, just as distilled water should be. Distillation is the best way to filter. Um, if you have the choice between any kind of filter and distilled water, distilled water will always win because it's 100% pure. Going over to our tap water here, we are at 12 parts per million. Not too bad, you know, tap water does, our tap water comes from a lake or a reservoir. And this is the same tap water filtered through a three stage uh, filter setup. I've got one stage that's a sediment filter, one stage that's an activated alumina filter for uh, removing chlorine and uh, horrible chemicals like that. And then the final stage is a extruded carbon block filter with silver our RO filter water, this is reverse osmosis membrane water, and this is the second best thing you can get to distilled water. We're actually getting a one part per million there, which is really good. Um, that's really pure water right there. Now here's where it gets interesting, okay? P is gonna be our best analog to actual salt water, and uh, this is actually pegging out my TDS meter. That shows you, it, uh, just how toxic P is. Uh, our range there is 1990, so about 2,000 uh, parts per million, and it just pegs out the thing there. I did get a, a slight reading uh, earlier of about 1,500, so the P here is going to be between 1,500 and 2,000 parts per million. Uh, once you get up into that range, it's hard to really accurately tell. Just note that it is a way full of chemicals there. And looking at the mud, we're only at 24 parts per million. That shows you just how deceiving water can be. P has got all kinds of sodium, all kinds of stuff dissolved into it as a chemical solution. Uh, muddy water just has uh, sediments and, uh, you know, dissolved 
large particles, which can be easily fil filtered out. So when you have a choice between uh, filtering seawater and filtering uh, muddy water from a creek, go with the muddy water every time. I do not, under any circumstances, recommend you drink your pee or try to filter your pee, although filtered pee is much better than no water at all. Um, what happens is your body will just start to overload on sodium because you cannot get all of that sodium out of the water. It's, it's just uh, impossible without distillation um, and to a certain extent with RO water. So let's go ahead and set up and test this thing. See what we can get here. Let's take our distilled water out of the picture there. I've got the outlet hose going into the provided cup. And then our inlet hose, we're going to start with tap water here. And we're just going to let that float on top. Uh, I hope it actually sinks down enough. Kind of wants to float the whole filter there. All right. Now yeah, let's go ahead and filter. And I'm sure that's got all kinds of like plastic residues and stuff from the pump. So I'm going to dump this out because I don't want to drink that. Pumps pretty easily, you know, and this is just tap water. We'll see how it does when we get up into the more uh, entrenched liquids there. There we go. I found that to be uh, very easy to use. Let's go ahead and check our parts per million here. And we're still at 12, so no change there. I'll go ahead and taste it, even though this is just tap water. Tastes like tap water. All right, I'm guessing the three-stage test is going to be pretty much exactly the same. Um, at this point, uh, this three-stage filter is doing almost the same thing that this one is. Go ahead and check that one. And we're still at 12. No surprise there. Taste that one. Still tastes like tap water. I'm not even going to bother filtering the RO water. Um, we have learned from the tap and the other water that it's not going to have any effect on the RO water. So let's get into the fun stuff. We got pee and we got muddy water. I'm actually going to start with the muddy water. I know you guys are all waiting to see me drink my own pee there. Uh, but uh, because muddy water is only 22 parts per million, it's going to be a lot lighter and a lot easier on the filter. And I want to make sure that the pee has uh, the best chance it can. Uh, it's going to probably... Uh, clog that thing up. So this is muddy water. Let's pull this up. There is mud at the bottom of that that cup. All kind of stuff floating in there. So far it's still pumping nice and easy. So if our muddy water started out at 22 parts per million, let's see what we got to with uh, our Survivor Pro filter there. We're at 14 parts per million. That's pretty good, um, considering our tap water was 12 um, and our three-stage water filter was 12. Uh, we're only two parts per million more, 
with a little bug out filter here. Let me drink it. Tastes like tap water. I know some of you have much more chlorinated tap water. Uh, by the time I filter mine, uh, all the chlorine taste is gone. So it just tastes like normal water. All right, here we go. This is the part you guys have all been waiting for and the part I've been putting off until last. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off this end here. I'm gonna drink my own urine. So it was off the charts before. We'll see if we can get that down to maybe hopefully like 1500 parts per million. I'm gonna go ahead and dump that out because that's mostly other water. It's got a little bit of color to it. That's promising. Okay, here we go. It's still pegged out. So, you know, as I expected, it's not getting all of those um, dissolved chemicals. Uh, chemical filtration is uh, nearly impossible without a semi-permeable membrane. And uh, it actually doesn't look too much different than it did before. So I'm not sure I still want to drink it. But uh, I promised you guys I would drink it. So I'm going to drink it. Uh, And that tastes like pee. Ew. Oh, nasty. Yeah, I don't recommend that at all. No. Don't don't try to filter your own pee. Um, it's not going to work. Um, but I have used quite a few camping filters over the years. I have not drinking pee out of a camping filter before. This was the first. I only did that because I'm doing it on video. And people like to see that kind of thing. So, um... I would say uh, for camping and basic uh, filtration, uh, it's going to work just fine to filter out your uh, muddy water, anything out of any creek, stream, anything like that, because it is going to filter out all the cysts and bacteria and all of the viruses. It's going to get all the stuff that's really going to hurt you. Um, next, uh, I, you know, next to that, I would say go ahead and distill or boil your water just to make sure everything is good. But I think it's a pretty good filter. So in terms of cleaning it, you just take it apart. They do say to back flush it with water a little bit, um, but you're just going to take everything apart, unscrew it. Um, I did find that the, the O-rings like to get stuck right there, so I would lube them up with uh, some KY jelly. It says to use vegetable oil in the manual, but uh, I'm not sure that those are Viton seals, and vegetable oil will degrade a Buna seal. So I would use KY jelly or even spit to uh, lubricate those. Um, but I think the handle is probably the weakest point. You got the those seals there that are kind of like to get stuck. And uh, even though the handle says it's got metal in there, I would just uh, make sure once it starts getting really tough to, to go, I would make sure you uh, do not try to bend that handle. And then uh, what you're gonna do is unscrew the carbon filter. You're gonna keep that separate. You could probably uh, uh, just wash that off and then everything else soak it in vinegar uh, vinegar will help clean out all those little spun filters in there the cotton filter soak everything in vinegar and then wash it all off with uh, the cleanest water you have and that'll be the good way to store it make sure you let this stuff dry in the sun so it, it doesn't have a chance to grow any bacteria. and they do say you want to probably replace that every single time so if you want to buy this make sure you check the links down in the video description below and uh, they do sell replacement filters on amazon or through their website and i'm going to go ahead and give it a four out of five um, i think it does a good job and it filters well so uh, even though it, it didn't 
filter my fee very well. Um, I wasn't expecting it to. So make sure you uh, hit yes for found this review helpful. Uh, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel.